All right. We are live. Welcome sa atong very new show, Modernong Philosopho, the podcast, hosted by Attorney Rene Absidi Jr. and yours truly, Brian Rusas. All right, magabi magisunan. Yeah. Wain gabi. Kera. All right. All right. Musta man di ang ECQ, Attorney. Okay ra. Muna nga nakakam up tani nga podcast tungos mga panghitabo na to ron syo nga. Tungod gyud ni sa ECQ no anong nag-podcast ta karon. Basically so, mo gina sa atong aim. Okay, so ang okay. title sa atong podcast it's called uh, Modernong Philosopho the podcast. So first of all, we'd like to uh inform or tell our listeners nganong modernong philosopho man. Why did we come up with this title and uh, what's this podcast all about? Sige ato ni ikaw na. Uh, well, uh, moderno philosopho from the word itself, it means that we try to analyze ato mga moderno, mga current na ato na mga political, ethical, and moral issues in the light sa mga theories sa ato mga philosophers. Uh, okay. So, and then, uh, mind you, kanimo mga philosophies na ito, nga na-learn na ito pa college and also in high school. Mind you, muna siya mag-guide sa ato mga decision makers in, ta- in in solving some issues in our society or na. So so the mga pagtulunan. Yeah, very timely po eh. kanang for those of kanang daghan na nga uh, naras balay. I yeah. This is a good para nako ha, I mean I'm to be very honest, uh mo ni akong gingon nimo ganina pa nga I am not an expert in any of this. And that's why I drag you into the conversation kay ikaw may mas kamaon ni Hilde mas I'm not, I'm not really an expert sa mm. but technically background lang gamay I'm a lawyer at the same time I was a I was a teacher professor at UP right. social sciences so not quite experience in terms of teaching mga social philosophies that's right uh, way back no? so at least no in the light of that particular experience we try to explain our very own terms layman terms ba mm. on how we try to discuss certain issues na maka affect din ato karon in the light of some Philo- uh, philosophers in terms of their mga theories nila ba. So, Muna, modernong philosopho. So, Muna, yung kanindot sa modernong philosopho kay ako mismo sa uh, kanang I will be learning from this and together with the audience or our listeners of the, to the podcast they will be learning from uh, the discussion again giingon niya turning up we will make it as simple as possible gikan niya ayang hubaron ang mga uh, topics nga related sa social or sa philosophy and of course this podcast mm-hmm. ato silang inform nga this will be available in uh, all different podcast platforms in Apple iTunes uh, mm-hmm. uh, Spotify including sa other platforms nga ilang gigamit karon also we will have this available in Facebook and YouTube so this is totally free for them to listen to what they non-stop no commercial and this is just free flowing <laughs> conversation with attorney Rene and yours truly free flowing sa atong sojo lihog ya all right sojo cheers <laughs> lihog siya atong sponsor no sojo atong sponsor <laughs> sponsor <laughs> sige sige so tonight or today we're going to talk about a topic uh John Stuart Mill uh, yeah pero nako i chose this topic John Stuart Mill because um, can John Stuart Mill and of course we can have Jeremy Bentham. Our topic nato for today is the philosophy what we call as utilitarianism. Okay. I don't know if you're aware of this very um ko uh, top very uh, very alien word perhaps for some utilitarianism. Mm-hmm. Okay. But when you speak of the word utilitarianism show it means that if you try to decide a particular thing and then you consider are the phrases greatest good for the greatest number then we're talking about utilitarianism. In other words, mm, if you try to decide, and you, when you say that, unsay mas makaayo sa kadaghanan, mo atong sundun, then you are utilitarian. Muna kita wag utilitarianism. Greatest good for the greatest number. Mm. And para na ko, it's relevant to our issue right now because we have our share of sacrifices karon kay ECQ. Right. Many people are trying to curtail sa ilang mga, mga freedoms, mga natin mga limitations sa atong activities. We're doing this for the sake of the great majority, if you're doing that, perhaps, then you are being utilitarian okay. in principle. We call that utilitarianism. That will be our topic for today. Oh, sakto guys. Mm-hmm. Very sakto. timely na siya. Kay Murag, everybody or daghang mga tao who is doing uh, this, 
uh, no doing yeah. what is good for the many yeah so more so mura bagi kon sige lang para mani kaayuhan sa kadaghanan mm. so if you do those things by mm. like people might actually say ba nga people are doing this they're trying to say this but they don't know that this is this particular theory na to miyon ta buhat ug tani para sa kaayuhan sa kadaghanan mm. is historical Okay. Way back, okay. may mga British philosopher na si Bentham o John Stuart Mill. They're talking about the word utility, utilitarianism. Mm. So great is good for the greatest number when you decide and when you when you try to consider unsa makaayus kadaghanan. We call that utilitarianism. But of course, you will ask the question: What? Can, when can we say that? What, 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 how can we define kaayuhan? Mm. So Let's what is our basis in saying what is good? Mm. And then I'd like to explain that when you speak of utilitarianism, the utility here is the root. The um, root word, root word. Not utility. utilitarianism. Utility. Okay. And then if you if you go back to so atong philosophers, meaning kag utility, it means good. Mm. And what is good and utility in terms of this theory is equal to pleasure. Okay. Hedonistic manisya nga principle, mm. which means nga unsay maayo ang lami, <laughs> ah, di ba? So. Nano maayo man siya tungod lami. So meaning it it promotes something pleasurable. So to the contrary when you speak of something which is wrong, mm, that basically because it promotes something which is painful or something which is promoting is some sort of suffering. So so when you try to weigh a particular situation kung mo desire gani ka because tarang tao ganahan because it promotes more pleasure than you're being utilitarian. Mm. So the more ka nga mo promote og happiness because it's basically uh, pleasurable then you're being utilitarian by nature. Okay. So let's go back to ECQ. Para so, so yeah, so basically when you speak of utility, it promotes something which is pleasurable. Like very very simple lang before I go out to ECQ. Like nga no magtuon man da. Mm. Nga no magtuon man da. There are many reasons why we study so hard. To, to get good grades. Mm-hmm. What's the reason why we want to get good grades? Basically, the reason is that the basic, the reasons like we want appreciation coming from our parents, mm. we want appreciation coming from our peers, mm. we want to be, uh, you know, ganahan tag boost atong self esteem. At the end of the day, why do we study so hard? Because at the end of the day, we want to be happy. Okay. In other words, ang end yud according to utilitarianism, ang end yud of every individual is happiness mm. all right and of course we avoid something which promotes pain and suffering so muna siya ang basis sa utilitarianism so when you decide a particular activity so anything that promotes pleasure and avoids pain so meaning unsay maayo lami mm. unsay pati ang dili lami pero dili or, siya subjective uh, ni Actually, muna is just mga issues in terms of the principle of utilitarianism because, you know, at the end of the day, mm. you'll never know. You'll never know if that particular thing promotes really happiness for the greatest number oh. or whether or not if only a few minority lang ang maging happy. Mm. So, for example, for example, if you do a particular thing and then what if the majority will be happy but the minority will be unhappy? Mm. So, for example lang siya. Just an example. I'm a doctor, for example, mm-hmm. I'm a doctor, and then I have around three, three patients, and my three patients, kinanglan sila o transplant. Okay. Patient A kinanglan o heart transplant, patient B kinanglan o lung transplant, patient C kinanglan o kidney transplant. Pero at the end of the day, wala ko nakita ng donor sa ilaha kaya wala compatible. Okay. okay. Pero na ko silingan so, botan talaga na ko silingan nga palahubog, mm. talang wala y pamilya. Bati pagbatasan, but that particular neighbor of mine has those three organs and he is healthy. And butata lang, just just an example, ang ilang organs kay very compatible with my three patients. Okay. Now, if you're a utilitarian show, mm. you would rather kill that neighbor of mine so that you will donate those transplants to those three patients that I have. Pero may ka sometimes, is it that a crime? But if you're utilitarianism, you will try to justify that because great is good for the greatest number. Hmm. Tulo ka bukong pili ang malipay versus one person nga walay maghilak because that particular neighbor of mine wala may someone na nag-care niya. Hmm. So, muna sa utilitarianism. You don't care 
about anything as long as the consequences greatest good for the greatest number. Mm. But again, para uh, sa ako la, uh, again, yeah, yeah. Uh, akong tan-aw sa imong example, murag kanang di ba pod like unsa og it's is it subjective sa imo rang imong tan-aw pero is it the consensus of the of the katong inato ako ba like who yeah. decides again that's the, the big question yeah. who decides so it, yeah because if you're utilitarianism according sa, sa principle ni John Stuart Mill when you decide based on utilitarianism you're considering yourself to be just a spectator dili ka participant mm. para daw ang imo ang judgment kay dili bias okay so you're not part of the problem ang imo ang yung aim is the consequence which is to produce more happiness to the majority compared to a certain person who will just die without a family lamenting about what happened to his life. Mm. But you know what? Dagal nag critic ang utilitarianism because there's a question on justice. Okay. So whether or not kanin tawa na buta talang ipatay ni mo akong neighbor tungod kay, you know, maski to compatible lang iyang mga organs and walay family nga mag-care about niya. But the thing is, you know, every one of us, whether or not you are, you are, whether or not, I mean, we are, equal in the eyes of the law. Nabi, political equality. So sometimes, mm. ang justice may mong relevant and utilitarianism, that's an issue. Mm. Like, for example, also, let, let me give you another example, utilitarianism. For example, ikaw, you are a uh, lifesaver. Okay. Dito sa right side, so, nai duha ka buhok, naglangoy dito, na almost nang imong isave, nga imong isave, duha ka buhok. Versus, usara ka buhok dito sa left side, that he is also about to to drown. Mm. Padung sa lumos. Mm. So if you're utilitarianism, you would rather say two mm. compared to one because, you know, duha versus isa. Mm. Ha, greatest good for the greatest number. Mm. But then again, that's an issue because aside from the fact that it's subjective, you will never know. Mm. Because what if that particular person, katong usaka buok that you're about to save, mm. is a doctor who has a cure for cancer. Mm. First cure for cancer or for AIDS or perhaps COVID. Correct. Just mm. imagine that. Mm. You fail to save one person, and that person perhaps could save millions or even the world. Okay. Eh, okay. tong duha katao. Mm. So, mo na siya mga drawback sa utilitarianism. Mm. Because para na ba, para sa utilitarianism principle ni uh, John Stuart Mill and then, of course, Jeremy Bentham, very simplistic, greatest good for the greatest number. But sometimes, there's basically very difficult to weigh in a, in a particular mm. situation whether or not what what particular did that you, what particular decision that you make mm. Will produce the greatest number for the greatest, you know, greatest good for the greatest number. Mm. Siguro, so, muna siya, just, oh, sa kundot mm. na siya nga point. Siguro, ato ni akong pangutahan na bala, so that we can also, also get a, a, a big, uh, more a picture of nga nung, nidis, nga nung nakakam up si John Stuart Mill o katong the other guy mong gingon. So, unsa man day, let's, from you, I'm sure you know this. Unsa man background mm. ni nila, kaninga mga philosopher? Yeah, ano man siya, like, mm. ang mga philosophers mong gandana sila yung mga different mga philosophies ba. Hmm. Like, naamagot na gitawag na Kantian na philosophy ni Immanuel Kant. Okay. Si Immanuel Kant, Shungi, he's this first particular person, si Kant. Oh. Ang para po niya, whatever is the consequence sa imong action, it doesn't matter. What matters is that Imo-action. you are focused on your moral principles. Okay. So, sometimes, makumpira na ko si Immanuel Kant ni Batman. Hmm. Diba si Batman, so there are many instances in which he could kill Joker, di ba? Mm. Pero ngano di man pat yun ni Batman si Joker? Because Batman is Kantian, Emmanuel Kant siya, para niya, di ligid pwede mo patay ka because strict siya sa moral principles. Okay. Di ba? So regardless of the consequence, pero kabati lang na sometimes ni Emmanuel Kant, di niya pat yun si Joker, iya rin pa preso, but we know that Joker will always find his way out and he will kill millions of people. Mm. Pero Batman doesn't care. Bahala lang ang consequence ako. Ah, basta as long as I will stick to my moral principles. So muna siya ang principle sa Immanuel Kant. Muna ni come up taan ning principle of utilitarianism because they are focused on the consequence, not on the means, ba? Okay. So they so, don't care about the means, whether or not if you kill, as long as the mm, consequence is that he will promote the good. For everyone, okay. for the main. Si Batman pa lang, Mm. So, utilitarianism pa lang si Batman, di pa lang sa Kantian, yun ang pat yun si Joker, bahala na bupatay ka, even though killing is murder, mm. but that day, you're saving millions. Mm. Greatest good for the greatest mm. number, balik yun po tas issue on utilitarianism. So, mm. muna sa style sa mga philosophies mga before. Mm. There are philosophies, like mga counter-philosophies, 
that's why some people came up with utilitarianism. Okay. And then we'll never know, diba? Sometimes, for example, for example, for example, Joe, na I like to give you a certain situation, na I hosted, ho, mga mga hostages, around 20 ka book hostages. Mm. Isa ka sa mga hostages, Joe, ikaw 20 ka. Sige, ako sa... Yeah, ikaw isa. For example, gignan ka sa, gignan ka, for, just for example, uh, a certain terrorist group, gignan ka, Joe, uh, I will let go of these, uh, I will let go kanang all of you, 19 of you, including you, if you will kill one of the hostages. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, if utilitarian ka, sometimes mayong ka, may pag-ako na lang patiyon ang isa sa mga hostages so that 19 of us will be free. Mm. But if kantian ka, mayong ka nga, di ko mupatay because mahala ang consequence ani mamatay mi tanan but i would rather stick to my moral principles which is i should i, uh, I will not commit any murder okay so mo so, mga sa mga mga different morality or beliefs for that matter ba so unsa itawag nimo attorney kung akong patyo na akong gaugalingon mo decide ko sige akong patyo na akong gaugalingon so man unsa man siya nga philosophy probably it's a kantian siguro na siya more uh, kay moral you're not promoting the greatest good of the greatest number Okay, nang speak, nang stick magkasi mong principle yun yan, di ka mo patay uban. Mm. So you would rather sacrifice yourself than kill others. Mm. You will not commit any murder because it's against, just against your moral principles. So probably, mura kag Batman na na, no? bahala lang magka, basta lang yun nga, di siya magkapatay ni Joker. Oh. So, muna siya ang mga, mga different ways of saying things ba? Mm. Diba? So, Pero mula kayo, dagang mga issues, no? dagang mga issues. For example, what if, what if ba, for example, na yung ka bata diha, usa ka bata ha, mm. tapos gibuli siya o mga butanta lang, lima ka tao. Mm. <laughs> so, usa ka bata nga gibuli, usa ka buk tao ning suffer. Am I correct? Mm. Versus lima ka buok nga happy because they're happy in terms of bullying mm. the particular person. Mm. Okay nga bata, utilitarianism, basically, mura justified sa siya, di ba? Kay greatest good for the greatest number. Mm. Five people are are experiencing happiness or pleasure versus usa ka buok nga nag experience of pain or suffering. Mm. Para sa issues basically sa utilitarianism. So, muna tungod kay greatest good over greatest number agit siya, very very limited ba. Makaingon ta nga justice medyo na disregard siya. Muna ni come up tag another term sa utilitarian utilitarianism known as rule utilitarianism. Alay sa ni. Oh, muna siya si ang katong permiro siya, katong Greatest good for the greatest number. Muna yung itawag na itong classical na siya. Classic. Karaan. Muna si Jeremy Bentham. Mm. Nang evolve siya, tungod lagi aning... Dagang issues. Uh, Dagang issues ba? Muna nang evolve ta aning kan John Stuart Mill nga rule utilitarianism nga greatest good for the greatest number but we have to follow the rules of the state. Ah, May balaot okay. natin i-follow. Mm. Kaya tanaw na ito nga mangulata ka, lima mga buok versus isa ka buok. Abi kay daghang malipay, justified na. Mm-hmm. It's against the law. Mm-hmm. So muna nga, uh, ningsuod na ang rule utilitarianism ni John Stuart Mill. So dapat mo follow rules sa state. Dapat follow rules. So, oh. so mura nang evolve more or less ang utilitarianism to that particular respect. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So going back, ato ni Samu Gingon, ato siyang i-relate karon sa atong current issue nga ato what we're facing right now, the enhanced quarantine or the gen, sa banitaw ka ng bago, general Current, uh, community General quarantine. Community Quarantine, yes. GCQ, so, na po ECQ. Let's, uh, para at saka itong atong mga listeners nga, of course, ganahan mudig deep pa ni nga topic. So, how can we, I mean, unsay mga social issues karoon nga nahitabo nga makaingot related ane sa John Stuart Mill nga utilitarian yeah. rule? So, when we try to sacrifice right now, sacrifice ta in terms of going out, Mm. Doing our usual chores, like for example, you go to malls, mm. jog barunka, or going out to parties or friends. If we sacrifice for a greater minority, mm. then it's justified using the utilitarian principle because it's greatest good for the greatest number. Okay. Because okay. you sacrifice our individual freedoms for the meantime, for the sake of our majority, majority sa katauhan na mas save from the virus. Very simple as that. Mm. So when the government will say na sacrificial lang ta because it will create the greatest good for the greatest number, it will create the greatest effect, hopefully positive sa tuwatanan, then nana siya basis in terms of our political theory before, which is, muna gitawag na itong utilitarianism. 
Okay. Because at the end of the day, when you speak of utility, we're talking here about what creates happiness. Siyempre, mali pa ito. So, wala eh. COVID, wala eh virus. Di ako, mana siya nga itong aim. Di ba? Mm-hmm. Pero sometimes, ay, no, pero ako lang nga, ba? What if a, pater, a particular act, single act, promotes happiness at the same time nasa igamay nga pain? Okay. So, okay. Nakin mo na na siya. No. Example siya. Nakin mo na 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 siya. Tagay ko siya o example o a particular act nga lami siya pero nay sakit. Sige. Kaya na may tabo sa kuhanday. Sa higdaan. Ano siya ba? Ano Pwede na mag... May mo siya. Ako na po aso. Ha? Kana di mo kaong kag ice cream mo niya, sakit i mong ngipon. Aula, aula, di din na mo. Aula, 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 aula. So, ice cream, di mo. Hindi sa laso, di ba? Hmm. Kaya, unsa man. What if mo kaong kag ice cream, kay craving na kong ice cream, pero sakit ako ngipon. How? At uh, the same time, sakit. dapat siya may sakit. Mm. <laughs> Bitaw. Kung pangutan nyo mo ba si John Stuart Mill or Jeremy Bentham, utilitarianism, what am I doing? Sakit ba ni siya? I mean, is this right or wrong? Mm. Um, if you ask Jer- uh, si si Jeremy Bentham, naka ngiligyan niya na siya gitawag siyong uh, hedonistic calculus. Mura siya na siya calculation ba? A particular app, Kaya na mo, iyan ang anticipate nga na ask nga both it creates something painful at the same time pleasurable. Mm. So, iya ha, hedonistic calculus, iya ha, na siya mga, mga certain criteria in terms of extent, in terms of duration, in terms of propensity, yeah. in terms of when the people are happy. The point is, at the end of the day, kung unsa gani ang mas bulabaw, ang kalami gani compared sa kasakit, mm what you'll be doing is right. Mmm. Ano? Hindi na din. Depende na ni mo, so. Mmm. Mm. Depende. So, ah, yung ice cream, so, oh. mas lami ka yung kaon sa ice cream and it will outweigh the benefits sa sakit sa nipon that what will you will be doing is right. Ah, okay. Atong imong ingon na katri, o kiba, oh, basi sa katri sa mukha ng ice cream, yung sakit imong ipon, I don't know what you're trying to say, so, pero, <laughs> ah, sige, sige. The point is, na po yung idea ni Mudaan, uh, hedonist, uh, hedonistic calculus na i-calculate na siyang amount sa pain o sa free, uh, pain pleasure. Wala siya na itabo. Pero, it's a personal na siyang point of view ni mo. Like, imuha na. That is your point of view. Point of view. Yeah. Uh, and then, aside from that, so, ningon mang sa good si, ningon mang sa principal utilitarianism na ingon mang good niya, ang physical pleasure is lesser compared to the mental pleasure. Hmm opus gina sang physical pleasure ang isyo. Kana yung mong ingon nga katri, unsa man siya, mental ako. I'm not so familiar magidana, no? Hindi ka familiar. Okay. <laughs> Kung pwede, pwede duha, actually. Actually, kana kana nga pleasure so, and pain. Pwede na siya actually it, duha. So, huh? If katri mong ingon nga katri siya, if it promotes physical pain, I mean, sorry, physical pleasure mm. compared to mental pleasure, Depende na siya because mental pleasure is way superior compared to physical pleasure according to utilitarianism. Mm. So, kay matod pa ni John Stuart Mill, it's better kunuf for a Socrates dissatisfied than a fool satisfied. Which means nga, kani si Socrates manggod, mm. muna siya ang wisest man in Greece. Mm. So, may puno nga si Socrates nga perting bright na dissatisfied compared to a fool buang nga and not satisfied, which means that there are different levels of satisfaction. Mm. Ang mental satisfaction, good show. Ha? No, so, good. sa ato mga namino, di ha, no? mm. mas maayog yun ang kalipay so na una o kasing-kasing compared sa panglawas nun nga kalipay. Although, mga nga sa tag mga lawas nun kalipay naman tayo mga lawas nun panginahang la, no? <laughs> ay, ay. So, Atrini, akong pungutan na katong sa, kung I'm sure ni Tanaw ka, no? Sa katong kang Michael Jordan nga, the last dance mm-hmm. pass. So, yeah. so man uh, siya, pleasure man to siya in pain. Di ba? Like, nakasakit. I, that's more on mental, no? Eh, hang pleasure ato. Mm-hmm. Eh. Di ba? Buat buwa check story, ha? Yan, pasakitan niyang mga kauban. Pero, mm-hmm. he feels happy doing that. Pero, I didn't have the nasa siya mga konsekwensya. So, sige, para makarelate po itong mga atong mga amigo di ang hilig sa sports nga ni Tanaw ato. Tapos, Ako, ni Tanaw, medyo ko ado siya. Oh, Tanaw, medyo ko ado. question siya, nga no, na, there was one time, sumbagay sila ni Steve, Steve Kerr. Oh. Di ba? Mm. Katong iyang ibuli si um, Butchler. 
and then of course uh, harsh siya sa ubang mga players mm. he tried to justify that para kuno to sa ilang kayuhan yes for the good of the many <laughs> if you're not ready for this team kuno for championship kuno you better quit something like that mm. so if if the reason sa iyang pagbuhat ana is for the team then probably utilitarian ang iyang approach mm. as far as Jordan is concerned mm. because he's doing it for the team mm. so great is good for the greatest number because because he's doing all those things for the benefit of the team mm. so but, but but you know subjecting mo ng Japan that's just far as i can see lang sa mga kuan ba kay bura ni palabas mo ni Jordan is not doing it for himself he's doing it for others iya kun it's ayina na because they will be facing tough competition like Detroit Pistons mm. your Knicks so so mas may nang maanad kuno daan pag practice because Correct. you will never know the uh, the competition that lies ahead mm. para sa which is mas lang eh it military to yeah greatest for the greatest number gyud yeah, pong ginuna niya mm. and then mental of course it's not just physical like physically drained siya sa iyang flu game mm. na siya pang injuries but lahi gito magakuha kasi mong championship it doesn't matter ang money because money is probably physical physical happiness lang siya promote but mm. in speak of your the greatest of all time it's basically mental happiness correct mental happiness of course in speak of basketball it's not just individual sport it's team mm. team sport so mm. di era champion si Jordan tampo ng champion ng whole Chicago Bulls team dali ra kanya ma-justify kay team sport man siya so bisan pag yeah sometimes something pa kay mga pa yeah sometimes sa king ka utilitarian sa Jordan to that certain extent mm. Mm. so okay ah uh, so kung ano dika nang help me understand now kaning mga principles that we are discussing here the social philosophies that we are discussing here gibuhat na ni nabuhat na ni nato or sa mga tao pero wala lang takabaw like for example eh, ikaw kabaw ka ni di ba nag you teach or nag educate mga ni sa mga students but for people the common listener or kana mga atong mga listeners nga dili aware ane ba so yeah. they might be doing this pero wala lang sa kabaw nga maoday na so is this what help me understand? Mao ni gibuhat sa mga philosophers sa una, like ilang gi sabot ang human behavior, and then they come up exactly. with these philosophies. Mm. Sakto ba? Exactly because ang aim mo sa mga philosophers nato before they will come up with some theories that will guide generations to come. Okay. Because mind you, the basis of our laws are these political theories. Mm. Unsa may basis ani mga mga rational sa to mga laws behind? The basis ana nila are the political theories that way that like exist way behind uh, way ahead of us mm. muni sa theory na tong utilitarianism mm. so nay mga reklamo for example lang kanang dadapit sa Santo Niño mm. na adi hay mga di ba sa unang panahon daghang mamaligya da Santo Niño sa Karsada mm. this one example that i can give makaingon ta nga traffic man kada Santo Niño na to di before mm. pero mm. i think sa panahon ni Mike Rama iya na gipa demolish in the pita mm kana mga vendors na to diha dapit sa may Santo Niño nga street mm. sa may kulo so makaingon ta affected yun ang ginabuhi adto nila correct but at the end of the day maka justify siya nga even though mo suffer ang minority sa mga tawo nga nabaligya dito because of the business but the greater majority of the Cebuanos nga ma sa traffic diha dapit will be able to benefit out from it mm. so probably wala kibaw si Mike Rama for example regarding what he did Mm. But sometimes you're easy to justify it, but you, he doesn't even know uh, justified uh, in terms of a certain political theory known as utilitarianism. Mm. So, mura sa mura sa important. I think it, it basically the, uh, it it calls for the purpose of our you know for our podcast mm. that we try to extend to our listeners, to our viewers, perhaps that there are political theories. But we need to understand which might be able to guide our day-to-day -day decisions. Correct. And mind you, these decisions are already being made by our political leaders who are making very crucial decisions in our society right now. Exactly. And sometimes, if we understand their decisions, man good, uh, then we will be able to cooperate because we know for a fact that they are being backed by something like a political theory, mm. like an authority. Ba? Mm. Ba? Okay, I will support your decision mm. because we back na siya ng certain theory of utilitarianism. Yes, it will lessen the judgment with our parents. Mm. Kaba, big story yan, ito, mga leaders. So, isa, may isa, may mm. But if you will know that there is a political theory, eh, way back, many years before pata na tao, 
na nag-create aning nga theory because that's a principle of morality that we can actually follow in making our day-to-day -day decisions and some of our government leaders for that matter. Mm. We might be able to understand these people are making the same. Ah, more than in that, ni. Okay, at least. Karon, atong gihubad sa atong gipasayon para masabtan sa tanan sa atong mga common nga listeners nga wa naka kabaw pa ani. Like ako, like I I have been more I know the concept, I know the theory, pero wala gid ko kabaw sa technical background of it. So having this conversation with you right now like yeah, with you. na klaro siya para nako no so i hope that that's the same goes the same goes with our listeners to the podcast bana maklaro yeah. para sa ila and yeah, we're, question, we're not actually saying that the theory is perfect no exactly as what mm -hmm. i said the mga drawbacks no na imo na mga justice mm -hmm. all that but we're trying to make it as simple as possible ba mm -hmm. and some, something uh, very layman na uh, everyone can actually understand in simple terms, mm. at the same time, what I did is something which is theoretically back. Mm. Ano ba? Di ba nga? Ba Uy, unreasonable ba ko? No. There is a certain political theories that is also trying to justify my, my act. Mm. Like, kanin mo utilitarianism magot? Hedonistic man siya. Meaning, I mean, it's something which is basically very natural. Correct. Like, people are drawn to do things which promotes pleasure. Correct. And we try to avoid something that will produce of suffering or pain. Mm. That's very basic. Mm. That's very essential. Nga nagutan buhato na to ang something na makapasakit na to, makapromote of suffering. We do things because it makes us happy. Mm. It promotes pleasure. Mm. So, but then again, individual magandang siya nga concept at itong hihimo siya nga political, societal, mm. because our government is doing the same. So hopefully we will be able to understand better. Mm. Ngano ato mga political leaders, ato mga policies are doing these things. So sometimes we are not that unreasonable. So we are doing stuff because there's a political backing, mm. political theory of support. And again, the good thing about it is kinahanglan siya katong sa sa evolution sa utilitarianism. Katong na ay rule ba? Nga as long mm. as it follows the rule, then yeah. it is gone. Uh, we try to maximize the greatest correct. good of a greatest number mm. as long as we adhere to certain rules of the state. Muna siyang rule of utilitarianism. Mm. Classical mo tong first. Mm. Correct. Na mm. greatest good of a greatest number. Nakita nila nga medyo naif law. Muna nga yun evolve siya classical utilitarianism na nana siya yung rule mm. they provide. So if it doesn't follow the rule, so even though makapromote siya greatest good or greatest number, so we should be able to reconsider that particular decision. Guapo. Nindun ni Dr. Rinda. Dagga ko na ka. Nice guy. Okay, so yeah. on sa way kanang dapat may bawuan sa atong listeners aside from kanang murag ako na tin-aw na ko para na ko murag nindot na siya nga discussion actually moving forward and I'm sure that gan pa dag ma, ma share. Anyway, katong na yung mga questions. Of course, we will be posting this to social media sa ato ang Facebook, mm -hmm. YouTube. Feel free to uh, comment and put on your questions if you're listening to this. Mm -hmm. Sa recording na, but later on, we will have a live session of uh, Modernong Pilosopo. Hopefully, next Iga. week, kung dili na busy si attorney, ato siyang uh, makauban live para ang uh, interaction na to, diha-diha na yun, na ito yung tubag. Okay? Alright. Alright. So, so, cheers ka pa niya. Cheers ka pa niya. sponsor. <laughs> Suju. Suju. Okay. <laughs> wow, right. May text po, Zora, ang dani mo doon, guy. <laughs> no? Yeah, no. So, importante rin ang pilosopo ta. Mao na, moderno ta, gamay pilosopo. So, all right. Okay, unsa pa man ang ang angay lang may bawa na turning. I think more man siguro basically that sums up so far. Hmm. So, unless it's a question later on in the future. Okay, sa akong kuano uh, sa akong pagsabot sa atong discussion karon. So, uh, two things nga naka-strike na ko is una, this philosophy has been there for so long and ako personally I've, I've witnessed what has been going on sa ato ang ato ang kwan, ato ang community, sa ato ang uh, country. Pero this gave me a clear picture. Nga na ada ni siya backing, no? The things that I've learned. Yeah. Na ada ni siya backing. Karaan pa kayo. So that that mm -hmm. gives me more confidence to kanang support any uh, decision. Decision. No? Mm -hmm. Oh, nga nandito pa taka lang comment sa Facebook mga ah, taka <laughs> <laughs> di ba? So, ay, taka lang nag-comment at, at, okay, at least kanin mo, kayo nga tao eh mas kamao ko nimo kay naminaw ko sa modernong pilosopo. <laughs> kana 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 kana. So, 
Kuan nak siapa? Gua pun nak siapa? Nya at the same time katong nindut angka nindut aning lebih nak katong aku nak nak katong nak katong rule utilitarianism as long as kay dilit siapa kenang personal subjective approach bah as long as you follow the rule of the state and it can do we maximize greatest good for the greatest number happiness for the greatest number but we have to stick the rules lah correct otherwise like we just kill basically for the sake and the malipay so that's a classical utilitarianism involves a rule so more so sa una to nandagan nga mata gina to Or Not really. Or about, or so <laughs> di, di, those are uh, we'll never know. So na panahon, uh, tiba. Tama kay questionable decisions sa mga political leaders. Uh, we'll never know unsay mga type of political theories na naka influence nila at the time. Mm, so you know, na, you know, ang mga political theories or views mo change biya siya as time goes by. Mm, na sans period, medieval period, mm, na biya medieval period, Christ center biya Catholicism, Renaissance period, free thinking. Mm, So regardless of religion or belief, so we'll never know. Sometimes mga governments are based mga depende mga nasa sa mga mga political mga beliefs that are existing during that time. Nindot nindot. But you know, even though nagexist is a way way back, but we'll never know. But many political leaders right now, NATO, are being governed by this particular principle. We don't know lang na nasila explanation behind their behavior. Exactly. At least makita mo ni mo, de ba? Like seeing. Government officials that are leading, especially this time, nga nagisik yu, di ba? Makita ka kinsa gud ang murag nifalo ani nga. Just, just, just imagine, parinsho. Like we're just talking about utilitarianism, greatest good for the greatest number. So no matter the means, no matter unsang imong gigamit nga pamaagi, ang point is the consequence is you're trying to promote the greatest good or happiness or pleasure for the majority or the greatest number. So mo na dapat follow. Mm. So, dagan, imagine, daghan pa ta mga political ideas ba nga ang nga i-discuss that people, our political leaders are following. Like, for example, uh, you're familiar with Machiavelli, the end justifies the means, di ba? If you kill a person ah. just for the sake of political ambition, ah. is it good? Just for the propagation of your power, may nanabit ang nating. Sometimes, pag-ing ko bang, ano man yung nanayon niya? Mm. But, you don't know that there's a certain political theory or backing ba na And then we discuss ngano na kakam up sila kani ng mga theory. Tana. So that's for next week, no? Para ganahan sila. We will keep the people posted. Ganahan na mga may educate sa ato ang mga political mga political theories sa modern na mga. Sige sige. Ato ng tanawan. Cheers. Cheers for the last time. So unsa mga any parting words from you, Trini, para sa ato mga listeners unsa mga mga ganahan sila tini lang before we end this episode. Just be educated. Let's have a free mind, and we are willing to answer your questions. So, what's that? Tung pwede answer. Yes. Yeah. Again, this is Modernong Pilosopo the podcast. We will be doing this on a weekly basis, of course, with your backing, with your support, and with your following. Like us on our Facebook page. We'll be coming up with a Facebook page for you to follow and for you to comment para sa inyong mga suggestions and for your topics that you want to discuss with us for your questions as well. So this has been a, a very wonderful discussion. Lingaw kaysa na nagkakuna katunan. Alright. Nice kasho, nice kasho. We'll do this once again. Next week ta, Rudy. Alright. Alright. Yes. Cheers. Yes, cheers, cheers. See you, see you, see you. See you, see you. May gabi. May gabi, yeah. Yeah.